Hi, in this video we're going to be solving or finding a basis for the row space and for the column space for this matrix right here. So the first step in doing this is to reduce this matrix to its the reduced row echelon form. So the first step is going to be to subtract the first row here to the bottom row to get rid of this bottom row entirely actually. So it would be 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 2, and just a bunch of zeros at the bottom. So that's the first transformation or row operation we did. Next, I'm going to multiply the middle row by one half so I can make all of it just be one. So one, one right there. And the next one is going to be to subtract the second row to the top row. And what I mean is you're going to get rid of some of it so it can become this, one, zero, one, then zero, one, one. 0, 0, 0. And now that we've found the reduced row echelon form, we have all the tools we need to find the basis for the row space. So we're going to be looking at the leading ones, so the ones right here and the ones right here. The vectors for inside the basis for the row space are going to be, if you looked at it horizontally, so one of the first vectors is going to be 1, 0, 1, because that would be the, the first leading one right here, and that's its corresponding row. So the next vector inside the basis for the row space is going to be 0, 1, 1. And notice that we're not going to be even uh, considering this to be a vector because there is there are no leading ones. This right here is the basis for the row space and that is how you find it. Now let's focus on the column space. So the column space is easy if you already found the row space. Uh, looking at the leading ones, focus on the columns they are in. They're in columns 1 and columns 2. Looking at and the original equation, in the original equation for columns 1 and 2, and downward you're going to have vectors. Those are the vectors inside the basis for the column space. We have 1, 0, 1 for the first vector. If you look downward like this, the next vector in column 2, we have 1, 2, 1. So the next one has 1, 2, and 1. This is the basis for the column space, and that's how you find them. Thank you for watching.